Raheem Mostert is out for at least the next three weeks with a high ankle sprain. The Niners will be in big trouble if one of their backup running backs doesn't step up big time. Fortunately for them, it looks like undrafted rookie Jamichael Hasty is a stepper-upper. Here was his first carry of the game against the Rams, 13-22, fourth quarter. He's going to run off right tackle, and a huge hole is going to open up because Aaron Donald is just going to jump out of his lane. Aaron Donald does whatever he wants. He, he's a freelancer. So let's go back to the beginning, and I want to show you this run full speed because the hole's there. He doesn't make the yards. I just want you to watch his acceleration, his burst, and how he finishes the run. Full speed. Watch him accelerate through that hole and then boom, lower his head into contact. Again, when you watch that, does Jarek McKinnon burst like that through a hole? Does Jeff Wilson Jr. burst like this through a hole? No. This guy though, he's 5'8", 205. He's a little guy. Watch how he finishes the run. Like Marshawn Lynch. He looks like a, a mini Marshawn on this run, does he not? I'm calling him Mini Marshawn from now on. Now this is his second carry of the game, 12:34 fourth quarter. This one isn't going to go for as long. That was a nine-yard gain. This one's going to be a four-yard gain. But watch, he makes these yards on his own. Right now, both Daniel Brunskill and Lake, Lake and Tomlinson are beat. Just as Jermichael Hasty is getting the ball, he's seeing blue jerseys in front of him. What's he going to do? Get tackled in the backfield? I mean, a mediocre running back would here. But look at that cut off his right foot. And then immediately, the cut off the left foot. Those jump cuts, I mean, that looks like mini Marshawn to me. Again, let's watch it in full speed for the full effect. Boom. Boom. One after another. Who was the last running back who could string two cuts together like that between the tackles? Frank Gore? Ooh, that's pretty. Four yards, all attributed to the running back. 10-21, fourth quarter. Now we're at Hasty's fourth carry of the game. Remember, he's barely played in the NFL. Just got brought in off the bench in the fourth quarter because Mostert got hurt and McKinnon was ineffective. Right here, Trent Williams falls. No, no one go there. Bounces outside. George Kittle loses his block. There's an unblocked safety right here. Hasty's got nowhere to go. So what's he going to do? Is he going to give up? Is he going to get nothing? No, he's going to make one of these beautiful jump cuts off his left foot. He can do it off either one. Cut inside. Spin off with contact. And if it weren't for this guy who clips Hasty's ankle with his helmet, he'd probably get away and get a big gain. Look at that spin. Still gets four yards on, an, on a carry where he could have lost two. And again, no fear of contact. 5'8", 205, not looking to bounce outside. Cuts up field, gets, down, gets downhill, as coaches say. Good contact balance, almost stays upright. I mean, there's like three guys unblocked around here and almost gets through them. Still gains four yards. Here's Hasty's best run of the game. It's his seventh carry, and it's a 10-yard gain up the middle. It's going to start out as a carry that's supposed to go outside. It's a toss to the right. But the Rams are going to set the edge. George Kittle isn't going to get any push. In fact, he's going to get pushed back into the backfield. There's nowhere for Hasty to go. He sees it right now. And watch this cut. This is a Marshawn Lynch cut. Boom. Boom. Again, watch it again. How much, how far his foot is outside of his hip. How low to the ground he is. How explosive he is when he makes that cut. Boom. And then he makes another one. Boom. Right there. And it's one-on-one -on -one with him and this safety, Taylor Rapp, 24. He sees him all the way. He's setting him up. Boom. Boom. Like he's skiing. Like he's a downhill slalom racer. Gets around 24. And now... Finishes strong, dives through the tackle, gets a couple yards after contact, always finishes his runs hard, surprisingly hard running, little scat back, more juice than any other running back on this team 
besides Raheem Mostert. This guy needs to get at least 12 carries a game until Mostert gets back. 